this is this unit examines the main components and principle of wet cooling tower with forced ventilation this bench top cooling tower has been perfectly designed to offer the students the opportunity of exploring the design construction and operating characteristics of a modern water cooling tower system the cooling tower is manufactured from clear acrylic for visibility and has an easily removable front face to allow different packing materials to be inserted the cycle starts from this red tank which serves as a water reservoir this heated water reservoir has a 1.5 kilowatt immersion type heater installed in this tank which heats up the water this heated water reservoir the temperature of this tank displayed on the lcd display this heated tank also has an electronic level switch which protects both the pump and the heater from dry run another feature of this tank is that it comes with a built in float valve which controls the amount of makeup water for the heated tank on the top of this tank is a clear acrylic makeup tank which clearly displays how much water is being consumed by a cooling tower the heated water is pumped from this heated tank to the top of the tower using a variable speed pump the this wall this wall this red wall controls the uh, this red wall controls the flow of flow rate of water going to the cooling tower a flow sensor and a temperature sensor measures the inlet temperature and a flow rate of hot water going inside the cooling tower an array of spray nozzles ensure an even distribution of water throughout the column another main component of this cooling tower is the uh, centrifugal blower this is the centrifugal blower which draws air into the cooling tower the hot water coming down from the top of the cooling tower is cooled by this air flow measurements of temperature and relative humidity of the air at the inlet and outlet of the packing allow the change in moisture content of the air to be dry and the mass transfer a pressure difference is created inside the tower during operation to measure the pressure difference an inclined tube manometer uh, an inclined tube manometer has been installed which measures the differential pressure across the tower all parameters can be seen on the lcd display which then you, you this which then can be used to find the performance of a cooling tower